Oh my god! Ugh! Just, ugh! Just fucking, ugh! What's up Dark Souls fans and welcome back to Praise the Sun. Today I'm going to be checking out the Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. Uh, I've got that plus 5, plus 10 Iron Shield, uh, Ragged Mask, Pontiff Knight Armor for the rest, Ring of Favor, Blue Tear Stone, Chloranthi, and Life Ring. So let you... I kind of forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say... Let's check out the build. That's what I was going to say. Uh, so, typical quality build, same build as the last two videos. Uh, 40 Vigor, 37 Endurance, 40 Strength, 40 Dex. So, nothing has really changed there. Dude, quality builds are king in this game, and I love it. I love it. I know a lot of people complain about build variety and blah, 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 blah. But I like having one build and just being able to switch whatever fucking weapon that I want as long as I have it upgraded already and just fucking play the game, you know? I really, really like that. So, uh, right now, I'm just gonna fucking, I'm just gonna fucking, you know, chill. You know, Mr. Hovel can do a slow walk shit all he wants. Alright. Alright, cool, he's done. Oh my god, get fucking combo, bruh. Get fucking combo. Oh! Uh, swag out the ass! Mm. Get wrecked. Good fight. Good fight, my friend. God damn, I love the flip attack on curved swords. I love it so much. For those of you who don't know how to do it, it's the same way you do the kick. Um, forward plus R1. Oops. There it is. Forward plus R1. Oops. Yep. <laughs> and you can hold the direction during the animation, just like immediately after you input forward R1. So I'm holding down here, and uh, it'll reverse it. You can hold left, you can hold right, or you can hold nothing. And so you can control the direction that you're going with it, uh, very similar to a reverse backstep. I don't know how easy it is to do on console, um, because, uh, you know, the lower frame rate and everything. I know a lot of people say that the reverse backsteps are damn near impossible to do on console without buffering them. Uh, but this one has a little bit of a buffer, because you're buffering in the the direction in the actual attack animation, so it should be pretty easy to do on console, in theory. I do not know for certain, though. Laser beam! I love the weapon art on this thing. And you're parried. Good fight. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love the weapon art on this thing. It's got crazy long range. It does crazy good damage. Uh, it's, of course, unparryable, just like every other curved, great, uh, curved sword weapon art. Um, and then other than that, you know, the weapon is very similar to Karthus Curved Sword. Uh, well, it's exactly the same, really, um, outside of the laser beam. Um, I think the R2s might be different on Karthus Curved Sword. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's very similar. Um, very similar play style, you know. You're going to be punishing people mostly with R1, R1. Um, the cool thing about it that I like more than Karthus Curved Sword is Karthus Curved Sword is like a very basic weapon. The only thing it really has going for it is these fucking obnoxiously fast R1s that just like punish roll after roll after roll. And that makes it a great weapon. That also makes it a very boring and very linear weapon to use. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it just kind of feels like you're playing on autopilot when you're using that thing. Uh, this one, not much really changes, but the weapon art having that extra range with the blade beam um, actually kind of allows you to punish people who are rolling away from you. Um, a lot easier than you would using the Karthus Curved Sword, and so I dig it. I really like it, and it looks cool. Damn, I thought he was gonna try and go for a parry. He must have reacted to that weapon art. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready, man. I wasn't ready. You gotta wait. Alright, I'll just fucking throwing knife you while you're in fancy stance. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck, bro! Come at me! Nope. Nope. Ow, we fucking... God damn it. God damn it. Welp. 
<laughs> I fucked that up with the throwing knife spam. I should have stuck to throwing just one. I don't know why I was throwing more than one. Uh, that was really, really stupid. Mistakes were made. Good fight, though, man. Good fight. He did a really good job at punishing those, which was not something that I expected, despite getting punished twice in a row for it. So, in other words, I am just not playing at the top of my game right now, so we're going to have to improve that. I can't remember the guy's name. I would like to get a rematch against him, if possible. Maybe fate will be nice to us, and I'll just happen to come by a sign, but yeah, I completely forgot what his name was. Good fight, though. Very well played. Got around that throwing knife spam quite easily. Quite easily. That was nice. Alright. Where is my next opponent? Alistor, you are up, my friend. Get your ass down here. Step into the arena. Gunder's Halberd, a.k.a. Free Parry Day. Unless he knows how to snake it around and dead angle with it. Which some, some Gunder's Halberd players do. I've been seeing it more often than not. So... We shall see. Alright. Ow, 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 ow. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Don't be obvious. Don't be obvious. God damn it. What is wrong with me right now? It's very hard for me to play to this weapon's strengths. <laughs> I think that's what my biggest issue is. Because I just want to do cool shit, and the curved swords don't really do much, so... I don't know. Nice. Got me on the backswing. Good fight, Alistor. Good fight, good fight. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed uh, from using the curved swords, uh, you saw it in that fight there, is their, uh, their sprinting attack is really, really good. Um, and, uh, that makes it excellent for reverse backstabbing. Um, especially with how easy it is to catch people in an R1-R1 combo with this weapon. I mean, a really, really good follow-up is that reverse backstab R1. Um, it's got a ton of range. It comes out very quickly. So, like, with some reverse backstab R1 follow-ups, I'll notice, like, if the weapon has kind of a slow backstep attack, that, um, if the person is, you know, doing one of those things where they retreat roll and then come at you by turning around and using a rolling attack, I'll notice that I'll either, like, trade with them or, um, or just get beat out clean because the sprinting attack is too slow. Um, on the weapon I'm using. With this one, that's not really a problem. You know, it's right up there with katanas uh, as far as how good the sprinting attack is. It's definitely excellent. I don't think it's as good as the katana sprinting attack, but it's it's very close. Very close. But yeah, the main thing that makes it not quite as good as the katana sprinting attack is the wind-up on it. That little wind up there is is this that sprinting attacks tell, you know? Oh my god, wombo combo! <laughs> Good fight. Um Yeah, the uh the little delay where you flip your hand backwards, um, as soon as you the the, the, the sprinting attack on Karthus and on just any curved sword in general, any any sword with that sprinting attack is actually incredibly easy to parry. Because with a small shield, um, all you do is you just wait until you see their hand move uh, behind them. Where the sword comes back, they like wind it up. If you just press L2 there, you get a free parry. It's like, it's just such an easy timing to get because it's... It's completely reactionary, and I think it's the only attack that the curved swords have, other than R2s, of course, that would be able to be parried on reaction. Um, because, I like, the R1s, man, I mean, I don't know. They're extremely quick. Maybe you could parry them on reaction with a Kestis, but I don't use the Kestis, so... I know that it's, it's not really a reactionary parry with a small shield, though, so... Um, so you do have to be pretty careful with the sprinting attack when someone has a parrying weapon. Although most people are so intimidated by that sprinting attack that they don't go for the parry, so I don't know. Damn! Holy shit! Good fight, good fight. 
<laughs> that uh, that R2, the two-handed R2, has a surprising amount of range. I wasn't expecting to catch him with that at all. That was insane. That's actually pretty damn good. I'm gonna have to work that into my play a little bit here. Because that just set him up so nicely for the follow-up attacks. That was sweet. I liked that. I liked it a lot. I'm normally not a fan of, like, flipping R2s. Um, but, uh, if it's got range like that, then I'm all for it. Uh, I also like the second R2 that you can get by, of course, just, like, rolling or just pressing R2 twice. Uh, that second R2 seems pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to find a use for that in a second here. That's pretty good. Alright. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Get your ass down here. Alistor, wait, didn't I just fight this guy? Or did I fight him in an earlier video? I don't know. This is the third video I've recorded today, so I'm losing track. <laughs> I am losing track. Alright, let's go, man. I think I just fought him in this video, though. Oh, nice. Wow, okay. No fear, no fear. Wombo combo. Happy feet. Good fight, Alistor. Good fight. This thing is fucking scary. This is a very scary weapon. <laughs> it's like a slightly shorter range and much more interesting version of Karthus Curve Sword. I don't know if I'd say much more interesting. Uh, Curve Swords in general have never really been my thing. Um, in Dark Souls 2, I found the Warp Sword to be, like, one of the most boring fucking weapons in the game. Um, and... Uh, that opinion hasn't changed for the most part. Um, I do like the Shottle just because of style points, but, you know, moveset's very similar. Um, so the playstyle isn't too different, but I do like the Shottle. It's a pretty sexy weapon. I'm gonna have to do a training room on that soon. I said I'd do it. I do a one on the shuttle like ages ago, and I have not, so. Nope. Mm. Give me that tummy. You're done. Good fight. All right, gonna grab the next one. Getting that tum tums. Alicorn. No. Sildurna right there. No. Sashimi. No. Fallen Knight. Yes. All right, summoning in pee pee pants. You guys don't know the Fallen Knight Trousers. Let me find it, actually. Fallen Knight Trousers. And... Let's see. Trousers of an Order of Fallen Knights held beneath leather boots and drab cloth using a knot of rope and bandage. They are dampened and indelibly stained with the misery of flight. So, in other words, someone pissed themselves in that set of pants. <laughs> uh, while they were running from something. So, this guy is wearing some... Wearing some pee pants. Oh man, he's not even wearing the right pants. Can't even make fun of him for it. Alright, fine. Fuck you. Fuck you. Interesting setup here. Got a fast attacking weapon for close range, and he's gonna try to space me out with the greatsword for the massive damage. I like it. Roll catch? What the? It's not even really a roll catch. It's a I'm not paying attention and don't understand how far <laughs> this weapon's range is catch. Also, there's tons of lag catch. That's that's what it is. Okay. Well, I don't really feel so good about landing that hit anymore. Fuck off. I knew you're going for that parry. Well, actually, I didn't because I would have backstabbed you. What the? Laser beam! <laughs> Come on, do the charge at me, man. I want to parry you. I want to parry you, but I want it to be free, so please do the charge. Good fight, Fallen Knight. Good fight. Sorry about the lag, man. Sorry about the lag. Not my fault, though. I've got super high-speed Verizon internet, and everyone knows Verizon internet's the best. It never messes up, so... Alright, let's do this purd. Got him. I love that move, because it catches... Oh my god. <clears throat> Get that tummy! Mm. Alright, good fight. 
But yeah, I love that weapon art because it catches people who roll away twice, you know? Um, I mean, it'll also catch people who roll away and go for a rolling attack, of course, but um, it just catches people who roll away twice so easily. It's, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> um, and a lot of people, you know, when they roll away, they, they mash it twice to avoid people who are trying to catch, you know, people who roll away, of course. So, um, so to have that laser beam on the end there, uh, and a lot of people really don't see it coming, usually, you know. They roll away twice, they get a good distance away, and they think, okay, cool, I'm safe, you know, let's get back to neutral, and then a laser beam fucking hits them in the throat. Uh, so, <laughs> excellent weapon art. Excellent weapon art. Definitely one of my favorites. Mr. Val, welcome back. I can't remember if I fought you this video or one of the last ones, but let's do the ass. We in there, we in the ass. What the? I won that trade, bitch. Throwing knife. No. I'm gonna try to bait him to roll forward with a throwing knife, and then get him with a reverse backstep backstab. That's what I want. All right, he's rolling to the side now. Oh, nope, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Come on, man, just let me get my fancy. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. I'll be serious. I'll be serious, man. Chill, 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 chill. Relax, relax, relax. All right, you chilling? God damn it, Val, stop. <laughs> stop it. Fuck off, Val. Got him. Good fight, Val. Good fight. Should have just let me have the reverse backstep swag stab parry 420 MLG, man. That's what I was going for. And you ruined it. And you ruined it. Good fight, though. Very close stuff. Tim, Tim, Tim. Tim, Tim, Tim. Well, let's go. I'm not going to let you buff that up, though. Not for free, at least. Oh, my God. Ugh. Just, uh, just fucking, uh. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to that. There's no other noise that I can make with my lips that describes how I feel after that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Good fight, man. Good fight. I am not easily scared by the buff, though, man. I'm just going to stay in your face. I told him at the beginning I wouldn't let him get that for free. Fiol. Let's do this thing. What are you using? I can't tell. Is that an S stock? It looks really thin. What is that? S stock? Yeah, that's fucking S stock. Pew pew! Ow, ow, ow! Fuck! <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Alright. This isn't working out so far. Good fight, Fiol. Good fight. Not the fanciest fight, but hey, it's Curved Sword. Whatever. Good fight. All right. At first, I thought that the S stock R1 came out faster out of a trade than the um, two-handed R1 on a curved sword. I was pretty surprised because uh, it felt like I got beat clean earlier on um, in that fight. But I guess not. I guess not. Maybe I just didn't. I didn't mash R1 fast enough. You know. That's uh. That's how you become pro. You just. You know you've made it when you can mash R1 faster than anyone else in the land. Who's this handsome fellow? Mac and cheese. All right. I love mac and cheese. Let's go, man. Out. Fuck. Mm. Mm. 
Give me that belly! <laughs> that mac and cheese belly! Oh! And the R2 roll catch. What up? Come at me. Who says curved swords can't look fancy? Woo! Got him. Good fight. Good fight, mac and cheese. That was a fun one. Got a little bit of fancies going on that one. You guys know I like my fancies. Sir Hacks a lot? No. Big Jim? No. Alicorn. Fuck you, Alicorn. Alright, here we go. Sashimi. Mr. Sushi. Let's do it. Oh, gotta get them buffs. Let's go. Got it? Alright. And we're off. I wish I had confirmed that L2. Wasn't expecting it to hit him. Don't get that out of my face. I think I'm playing with you, boy! <clears throat> oh, shit! Damn, nice, nice. Ran myself out of stamina on a hard read. I was sure it was gonna hit him. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Hyper Armor kind of saved my ass there a little bit. Got me a trade outside of it, but I definitely lost that one. He did a lot more damage to me. That was a bad point to do the reverse flippy. I was just kind of throwing it out. Didn't really put much thought in it. This just turned into a butt clinch fight. Scared to do anything. That could have very easily killed me. Shit. Damn it! Fuck! Ah, man. That gets me every time. I never expect them to R1 that many times. <laughs> Good fight, man. Good fight. Very close. Close stuff. Katakana. Bam. Mm. Get in the bellies. Get the fuck back up. Nope. Got him. Nailed it! <laughs> Good fight, Ivan! Good fight. We're gonna grab one more, and uh, that will be the last fight. So, who is going to be the lucky last victim? Victim. 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 It is Mr. Dragos Yas. Now, this dude, I fought him many times on my stream, so this is gonna be exciting. We'll end it off with a viewer duel for the last one. I like running into uh, viewers randomly in these episodes. As, as you can see, I don't have a password on or anything, you know? So, um... It's a pretty cool coincidence. I see them around here all the time, you know, so... These dudes must like to practice. They like their Dark Souls. Their, uh, signs are always down. Alright. Let's do this Dragos! Who might whoop the shit out of me because this guy is good. I think he beat me last time I, I had a stream, which would be yesterday. I think he got me yesterday. Yeah, that's right, it was a Chaos Blade mirror and he completely shit on my chest, so... I'll try to avoid that happening today. Since he is the last duel, it has to end on a victory, so... Damn it! 
Oh my god, I thought for sure he'd go for a sprinting attack. I thought... The problem with facing, uh, you know, like, this dude is that, like, you know, a lot of people are gonna watch that and they're gonna think, man, why do you go for the parry? Like, of course he was gonna go for a jumping attack. He, like, already tried it once. The thing is, is that this guy keeps me on my toes by not doing anything more than once, uh, typically. So... <laughs> So I was very certain he was going to uh, change it up. Because I was thinking that he was thinking that I was just holding out the shield to interrupt the inevitable jumping attack that was going to come. So I thought for sure he wouldn't go for it. So I'm going to pull out the shield again. See? See? <laughs> what I fucking tell you, man? <laughs> this dude just has the most godlike mix-ups. Every fucking time I fight him, I'm like confused as shit. God damn it. Pull out the parrying shield to fucking counter a jumping attack that I think is gonna come. He does a sprinting attack. Okay. Pull out the parrying shield to parry a sprinting attack that I think is gonna come. He does a jumping attack. <laughs> this guy's got his fucking game on point. He's always keeping me guessing. Damn it! Fuck! Damn it! Alright, Dragos. Good fight. Good fight, man. Always fucking pushing in my asshole. <laughs> good fight, dude. Very good stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna have to summon somebody else for the last fight. But, um, yeah, excellent stuff. Uh, that is basically Mind Games 101 in Dark Souls. Um, <laughs> right there. Uh, I had an idea for holding out the shield to, uh, interrupt his jumping attacks. He got a bead on that and didn't do them, you know? Um, well, the first time he did throw out a jumping attack, but it's just like, dude, this guy, this guy's just like on another level. Can't fucking beat him. Good fight, dude. Alright, Remedial Ash, you were the last fight of the video. Aw, oh, shit. Viewer fight. Let's do this thing, man. lot more damage out of that by just going into L. Oh, got him. Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah, by just going R1 into uh, L2, R1. That's your combo right there, Remedial. R1, R1 is pretty pointless on the Glaive. You can get so much more off of it. Good fight, Remedial. Good fight. And that is the last fight of the video. I will be bouncing out here. Uh, you guys... Uh, I just totally fucked up my outro. I space. Um, everybody have a fantastic day and praise the sun. I will see you for the next video later.